With update 1.2, we added two completely new features to Artisy Draft. First, the Scratchpad, which allows you to take notes quickly or even write traditionally formatted screenplays in a convenient text editor. And second, the possibility to export Artisy Draft data to doc files. Let's start by having a closer look at the Scratchpad. While working on your project, you might want to take some notes. To do so quickly before the idea slips your mind, open the Scratchpad via the button in the master toolbar. This view looks a lot like a usual text editor, and basically that's just what it is. Use it to write down everything that you think does not fit into the flow or into entities and locations. Maybe you want to write a short story about one of your entities to further characterize it, or you want to describe a gameplay system in more detail. Besides taking notes like these, the Scratchpad can also be used to write in a traditional screenplay format. Simply use the different format templates provided in the toolbar. Thus you can format text as headline or general text. When it comes to dialogues, you have format templates for characters, stage directions and the spoken dialogue text itself. If you already created some entities in your project, Artisy Draft accelerates your writing process by providing suggestions for autocompletion. This system is only applied when writing text formatted as speaking entity. If more than one entity with that name exists, you see this icon. Click on it to specify which entity is meant. The text documents created in the Scratchpad are called Notes. When opening the Scratchpad via the master toolbar, a new temporary note is automatically created. If you don't save them, temporary notes are deleted when closing the project. As long as you see this red bar at the top of your document, you're working on a temporary object. So make sure to save all temporary notes you want to keep before closing the project. In multi-user projects, temporary notes have the huge advantage that they're not part of the project partitions. Thus you can create and edit temporary notes without claiming a partition first. Texts written in the Scratchpad are linear at first. But you can convert your text into flow objects to arrange it in a non-linear way. Simply select the lines you want to convert and drag and drop them onto the flow editor. This brings up a context menu where you can choose the note type in which the text is inserted. If you choose automatic, the conversion will determine the note type depending on the used format templates. Headlines are interpreted as name of a flow fragment or of a dialog whether or not a dialog related format template was used between this headline and the following one. Besides converting nodes to flow objects, it's of course also possible to simply attach them as a reference. So it's up to you if you want to use the Scratchpad as screenplay editor or simply as integrated notepad. By the way, if you already have screenplays written in Final Draft, you can import them easily into your Artisy Draft project. Update 1.2 also brings a new export possibility. Besides the XML export, you can now export Artisy Draft objects to Word documents. If you want to print out parts of your project, or if you want to share information with someone who is not using Artisy Draft, this will help you a lot. So let me quickly show you how to do that. Select one or more objects and click on Export in the context menu or in the toolbar. This brings up the Export dialog. You can now further define the list of objects to be exported by using the checkboxes on the left. In addition, you have a set of options to the right. The most important option is the export method. Here you can choose between three settings. Full export to one file. This creates one document containing all selected objects. Full export means that the Word document contains all properties of the exported objects. This includes references and template data. Full export to multiple files. This method creates one document per object. And as list, this exports only the basic properties of objects like name, object type, template and project path. Export as list is especially useful to quickly create asset lists. If you are using the technical names of Artisy Draft objects, you should also add this property to your exported Word documents. If you want to print the exported documents, you may want to uncheck the option Include Images to save some ink. 
Full-size snapshots as additional files is only relevant when exporting location objects. In this case, you can choose if you want to export the location map as additional JPEG file. You can also create documents with or without a table of contents at the beginning. Having hyperlink on references enabled inserts links to the Word document which link back to the original object within Artisy Draft. This adds or removes a title page with the project's name on it. We also made some minor improvements with 1.2 that I would like to show you. For example, you can now edit the preview image of all your objects. After adding an image to your object, open the right-click context menu and click on Edit Preview Image. You can now scale and move the displayed image section. If you are using one image for multiple objects, you can also edit the displayed image section for the asset itself. As long as the objects using the asset have Use Preview Image from Asset enabled, they update the preview automatically. Furthermore, you can now align your objects in the flow editor quicker and more precisely. Select the nodes you want to align to each other and choose the desired alignment from the toolbar. 